corporate social responsibility is not something that is done in response to Aaron Regent or in response to uh, NGOs or in response to recent uh, trends of, of fashion. It is part of our DNA. Yes, we have hospitals. Yes, we provide clean water. Yes, we provide housing. But much more importantly, by moving into these countries and developing their minds, and most of these countries now are developing countries, we provide way beyond the importance of money. We provide human dignity. We provide an opportunity for those people to earn their money rather than hold out their hands and depend on charity. And if anything has been proven and has been taught by the global society over the past quarter century or past half a century, is that if there is choice between creating dependency or a choice of giving them opportunity and dignity, inevitably the second alternative is what produces the long-lasting results. That's where Barrick is so outstanding. That's where Barrick as a Canadian company with Canadian ethics, with Canadian values, with Canadian morality has been able to operate throughout the world. And yes, we are attacked. We are attacked continuously and we are attacked often by a very noisy and very articulate opposition. And while we're pouring in, as Aaron showed you, $4 billion in wages at labor rates which are four, five, six times higher than prevailing wages if the prevailing opportunities even arise. While we provide all kinds of community social benefits and while without exception the local communities, the local governments, the local structures are dying for barracks jobs, for barracks investment and their the president of, of, of uh, Dominican Republic, the president of Argentina, the president of Chile. They all, I personally talked to all of them. There wasn't one of them who did not say, please, 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 Barrick, please put our, your money into our country. We need foreign direct investments. We need employment opportunities, particularly in those remote regions where the mines are located and no other alternate opportunity exists. So while we offer the dignity, the opportunity, the financial benefit, and ultimately the prosperity and security, we have a group of people opposing us. And please, I'm not here to talk down the many highly qualified, wonderfully socially contributing NGOs, many of whom we are in partnership with, but there is a growing rogue element, an element that wants nothing but stop development. But stopping development is one thing, because you believe in nature, believe in the purity of water, but please, what can they offer to those 20,000 people we employ? What can they compensate them with? When we don't operate, when we don't provide billions in wages, when we don't provide our social services, what is the alternative? To fall back on global aid and charity? This is not a viable alternative. So while we love NGOs and we work with them and we respect them and they made major contributions to improving our world and our children's world, we equally have to stand up for those who are just on principle are against any kind of development. And instead of working constructively with us to create an improved and better mining operation, an improved and better working conditions, and find solutions that work for both people, a win-win solution, they say, whatever you do, we don't want you. Go away. And what are the people going to do? Line up for social benefits in the remote hills of Tanzania or Peru? There ain't none. So there's no alternative. You must stop me. Uh, I, do, I, I do get very emotionally involved. Um, I, I, I would be totally irresponsible um, being the founder of this company and being around now in the gold business for a while if I would not tell you my views about gold. Uh, and I always put a caveat when I 
especially when I talk in Europe and they ask me about gold. Uh, yes, I work for a gold company. They pay me. So a grain of salt uh, when you're listening to me. Uh, they wouldn't pay me if I would say anything bad about gold. So put that into your consideration when you're evaluating my comments.